Hello everyone, I'm Ling Zhao Meng, come from Harbin Institute of Technology. I'm so honored and proud to have the opportunity to speak at this meeting online. Today, I would like to present my paper, Experimental Investigation on the Stability of Aluminum Spawn Field 6082 T6 Aluminum Alloy Circular Tube in Extra Compression. Nowadays, aluminum alloy is widely used in spatial structures and bridges all over the world because the aluminum alloy has the advantages of high strength to weight ratio, ease of fabric friction, high degree of workability, high corrosion resistance, and high recyclability. However, the elastic modulus of aluminum alloy is lower than that of mild steel, and the stability of aluminum alloy members under compression is one of the key problems in the design of aluminum structures. Aluminum foam is usually used as filler to improve the performance of the aluminum tube for its advantages of lightweight, high specific strength, and excellent energy absorption ability. Thus, experimental study on the stability of aluminum foam field 6082T6 aluminum circular tube and extra compression was conducted to reveal the influence of aluminum foam filler on the stability of the aluminum circular tube. The aluminum foam was cut into cylinders and bonded. Then it was filled into aluminum tube with circular hollow section. The geometric parameters are listed in the table. The parameters considered in the actual compressive test including section size, length, slenderness ratio, and the ratio of diameter to work thickness, and tubes which were empty or aluminum foam filled. The material properties were obtained by experiments. Tensile test for aluminum alloy and extra compressive test for aluminum foam were conducted. The energy absorption ability of the aluminum foam is improved when it reaches densification stage. The results showed that the elastic modulus of the aluminum alloy is approximate one third of elastic modulus of steel, and the yield strength and ultimate strength of the aluminum is similar with the Q235 steel. Before the compression test, a laser sensor was employed to measure the geometric imperfection of the specimens. The results showed that the imperfection curves can be simplified to a half sinusoid with an amplitude of less than one thousandth of the effective length. The test setup was plotted here. Two double knife edge bearings were employed because there is no distinction between strong and weak axes for circular tube members. Four displacement transducers and eight strain gauges were used to measure the mid-stand deflection and surface strain. The loading speed is set at 0.3 mm per minute. The photo of the tested specimens after failure is shown on the left, and the load versus deflection at mid-span curves for both empty tubes and aluminum foam filled tubes are plotted. At the beginning, the load increases linearly with displacement. Due to the initial geometric infection, the overall buckling was observed, and the load decreases after it reaches crucial buckling load. These photos show the overall buckling of the tubes in the extra compression test. The load versus displacement at mid-span curves and the load versus screen at mid-span curves for both empty tube and aluminum foam filled tube are plotted. The load carrying capacity of the tube is increased by filling aluminum foam, as well as the deflection at mid-span is reduced. Moreover, the displacement at mid-span of aluminum foam filled tube is smaller than that of empty tube under the same compressive load, which indicates that the aluminum foam can restrain the deformation of the tube. The stress counter and displacement counter are plotted. The aluminum foam filled tube exhibits more uniform stress distribution than the empty tube. Aluminum foam filled aluminum alloy composite components exhibits better stability capacity, for the aluminum foam can effectively support the component wall and restrain the local buckling. For the aluminum foam filled tubes, by decreasing the slenderness ratio, the load carrying capacity of the tube is increased and the displacement at mid-span corresponding to the buckling strength of the tube is decreased. When decreasing the ratio of diameter to wall thickness, the load carrying capacity of the tube is increased, 
and the displacement at mid span corresponding to the buckling stress of the tube is decreased. Moreover, comparing with the empty tube, the influence of the slenderness ratio and the ratio of diameter to wall thickness on the stability of the aluminum tube is weakened. Some conclusions based on the test results are summarized as follows. Overall buckling was observed in the extra compression test for both the aluminum foam field tube and empty tube. Aluminum foam field aluminum alloy composite tube exhibits better stability capacity, but the aluminum foam can effectively support the component wall and restrain the local buckling at the mid-span of the tube. The influence of the slenderness ratio and the ratio of diameter to wall thickness on the stability of the aluminum tube is weakened by feeding aluminum foam. Thank you for your attention.